Trina here. I'm so excited today. We're gonna play dress up, literally. So in today's KFC, it's all gonna be about dresses. Graduation, prom, garden party, boozy brunch, wedding guests, any kind of showers, just to bump into your ex accidentally on purpose, basically any other occasion that you can think of that requires you to wear a dress. I've got you covered. So before we start, accessories time. Okay, first dress, very graduation appropriate for all of my girlies out there. Congratulations, you guys did it. My own graduation was aeons ago, like we're talking like light years. And I think the rules for graduation dresses has changed a lot since then, but I believe that you can't go around with something like this. It's classy, I love the length, it's double lined, it feels so comfortable on your body, and when your robe is covering, you can still see a little bit on the bottom. If you're wondering all these dresses are from, everything in this video will be linked in the description box down below so if you are watching this video on your phone here is how you can see all the links of all the dresses that we're trying on today and if you're watching this video on desktop here's how you can see everything along with the prices and the sizes super casual dress that's not actually a dress that's a romper love the design of this one and the fact that you can tie the shoulder straps yourself you can really be customizing how low or how high this sits also double line on the inside this is a vacation essential the last thing you want to be thinking about or worrying about when you're on vacation is your dress flying up i've been there personally i have seen this happening to other people on the same vacation as me you're too pretty to give the world free show so trust me on this always go with a romper okay this next dress is what i call my fun in the sun dress but i feel like it's very appropriate for a multitude of different occasions you can wear it on the beach you can wear it to brunch you can wear it to a garden party basically it's your run-of-the-mill lwd so cute it is double lined, but I would still say that it's a little bit on the see-through side despite it being double lined, so make sure you go with underwear that matches your skin color on the inside. The ultimate little white dress for anything that's wedding related. You got a wedding shower, you got your bachelorette party, you got a rehearsal dinner. This is your little dress that you're gonna wanna go for. Double line on the inside. This dress is extremely unforgiving if you get the wrong size. I got it in my usual size, which is an extra small. But if you're in between sizes, I actually suggest you to size up because there is absolutely no stretch to this dress. There's a zipper at the back. Not gonna lie, I'm having a lot of trouble breathing right now just because I just feel all the compression happening around my ribs area. Ooh, I also like a little off-the-shoulder moment like this. Gotta start with my absolute favorite of the bunch. This is a very modern twist on a very classic kind of dress with a boat neck neckline. It also reminds me a lot of what Rosie is wearing, but with a tube top instead of a boat neck top. Honestly, as a blink, I'm just happy to recreate any of their outfits, even if it's just like a marginal recreation. Love the back, open backness, and this flary shape that stays in place. So great props to the designer for this dress. I believe it's currently sold out, but if you're into this dress, please make sure to check the description box in the link below. Huh? Please make sure to check the link in the description box below because this is one of their top sellers and they would be absolutely crazy to not bring this back. Another celebrity inspired dress. If you guys know me, you know that I'm absolutely fanatics about Selling Sunset and my favorite girl's girl, Miss Emma, wore this exact dress. So naturally, I need to order it for myself. This is one of the, if not the most figure hugging dresses I have ever tried on in my life. Total confidence booster for me whenever I'm in this dress. Perfect for date nights or going out to dinner or even going out with your girls to have a GNO. Don't get this dress if you don't want anyone to ask you where it's from. You think I was joking about that? I'm serious. The perfect midi LBD for any kind of semi-formal event or any work event or even as a best dressed wedding guest. You guys know I go absolutely crazy for any top that has a tube top design. This dress is double lined. The inner lining ends around the mid thigh area and then this outer layer cascades down below that. I think it's super flattering for all body types. It's just something that you can't really go wrong in, you know? My vacation girlies, I'm back with another casual dress that looks like a dress, but it's actually a romper. Love the design of this one. It's so girly and feminine, but at the same time, it keeps you protected from the wind. And let's not forget about the pervs out there. Also love wearing it off the shoulder as well. It's very comfortable. But oh, your pockets. Oh my, let me just like regain my composure because this is such a good find. Bought this 
For the romperness, did not expect to find bonus points, aka pockets on here, plus a trillion million points. Yeah, if you guys are not gonna get this romper, we cannot be friends. I'm kidding, chill. Saving my absolute favorite LVD for last. If this is not the ultimate revenge dress, I honestly don't know what is. Let me know in the comments down below if this would be considered your ultimate revenge dress because every time I put it on, I just feel like I'm not wearing a dress. I'm wearing a veil of power. So it's gotta be one of the most risque, scandalous dresses I own. And this would be my top choice for bumping into my ex accidentally on purpose. Oh, and side note, if you guys ever wanna go viral on social media, this is the dress that will make you go viral. I wore this on my TikTok and my IG and both of them blew up, so... I think it's the dress. So I saw that messy buns were trending. So I tried to do a messy bun today. Other people's messy buns are like really good messy. And mine's like messy, messy. Whatever, it might be a mess, but it's a beautiful mess. Just like me and all of you. Okay, so contrary to a lot of people's opinions on social media, it actually comes with a mesh lining on the bottom. So this is a beige or like a nude slip. And like, you see this color here? This is not actually my skin. This is the inner lining of the dress a little colorful number this is a gorgeous fire engine red color which i think is the color of the season if not of the year and plus it goes so well with so many skin colors and that's a halter neck design a really high thigh slit like really high like we're talking like you need to be careful kind of high i think this is great for a wedding dress <laughs> In some Asian cultures, red is considered the prosperous color, so a lot of brides actually wear this as their second wedding dress. Or, you know, any beach vacation would be great. For a wedding guest. So this is the ultimate princess dress. It would be perfect for those of you who are attending prom or any kind of formal event where you need to go like all out on a ballroom gown. There is a full layer of tulle on the bottom, which I really appreciate. It really adds to the volume of the gown on the bottom. I also like that the straps are adjustable because, and that's really important because this dress is so heavy. Like honestly, I feel like my shoulders are having a workout right now, just carrying this entire dress. Definitely any time where you wanna have a Cinderella moment, this is your dress. It's so poopy. Okay, you guys know I barely feature any kind of navy blue on my channel just because I'm not a personal fan of such a color. So when I do, you guys know that it's absolutely gotta be gorgeous. I think the designer absolutely nailed it. It has a tube top, one of my favorites, and the slit is also extremely high. I think this is something that would be perfect prom for a graduation if, if, and only if you guys wear something on the bottom. So whether it's yoga shorts, sports shorts, swim shorts, Pilates shorts, any kind of shorts that you own. I don't even care if it's denim shorts at this point. Please, please wear some kind of shorts on the bottom here so you're not like giving the world a free show because you're way too precious for that. I honestly would recommend this for any occasion, anyone. Even taking out the garbage, I would do totally in this dress, 100%. It's just that stunning. It's stunning. Guys, I just saw that it also dropped in other colors as well. I think there's a red one for this that I'm absolutely loving. So do yourself a favor, grab this dress. You're not going to regret it, I promise. This is the perfect floral dress. Immediately, I'm thinking wedding guest, I'm thinking garden party, I'm thinking Sunday boozy brunch with the girls. It's double lined, super lightweight, and has the most amazing crisscross back going on, meaning it's more customizable around this area compared to some of the other dresses, which has zero stretch, just a zipper closure. I love the colorway and the print of this dress. I think it's actually perfect for Mother's Day brunch or any kind of celebrations involving you and your family. It's a very classy length and the slit up here is not too far up. Well, let's not forget about it being double lined as well as adjustable straps. Another stunning dress. Take out the garbage in. Dip me. Oh my god, I'm so dizzy. <laughs> Another layer of tulle on the bottom and not as exaggerated as the pink one from earlier. Still gives the dress that kind of volume it needs on the bottom here to be flared enough for a midi dress, but not too much to make this a full-on gown. Love the print of this. A lot of times for spring and summertime, we're seeing floral prints being the little tiny kind of flowers, but this is actually a full-on peony print. Something really different and feminine and it has pockets. 
whenever I discover pockets on my dresses, it's like discovering money on them. Saving the best for last. And I know I'm gonna get flack for this, but I'm gonna say it anyway. I want you all to have a dress in your closet that you feel absolutely stunning in. It doesn't matter what other people think. It doesn't matter how people look at you when you're wearing it. It doesn't matter what people think. The only thing that matters is how you feel. This is one of those dresses that I feel like is super out there. You either love it or you hate it. But I think I'm out here just giving you guys options and range. A lace dress that I absolutely think is the epitome of gorgeousness. It combines modest elements with risque elements and that's what makes it so unique. First of all, it is a maxi length. So it comes all the way down to the floor. And then you have this illusion element going on where like this area is actually not my skin. This is the inner lining. And then you have stuff like this, which is my skin because this is a mesh component to the dress. So from far away, it kind of looks like your dress is being cut in half, which is so interesting. I've never seen anything like this. Let me know what you guys think of this dress. Is it too out there for you or is it something that you would totally see yourself wearing? Comment down below and I will see you in my next video.